Ladies and gentlemen, good evening from Minus Kine. I'm your host and this is the Italian Pod. As always, my co-host from Britain, Lord Ra. Ah, you doing a British man? How do you feel today? Function. Well, that's more the that's more than a lot of people and a lot of junk can say, no pun intended. And Eagle Ceres from Mexico. How are you doing, Eagle? Yeah, same here. I'm getting used to work again. <laughs> I started working again this I started working again this um uh, this week and I already understood why I missed this kind of work because only in an airport can you see this kind of stuff. Okay, before we get no because I want to tell this to you, to the audience before we go into um the proper uh, argument, proper subject of the podcast. So yeah, it's a funny story. It's not for the faint of heart, so you've been warned. So, on Wednesday, in the morning, uh, it was my boss and a couple of colleagues, uh, you know, in the office. Uh, we work in the lost and found office. So, uh, basically, there, our, door, our office has a door that go, gets on, you know, on the room of the airport. We hold the bells for the, you know, for the luggage, where they put all the luggage and the passengers go and pick them up before going outside. So it opens in a side door, in a side room, then there is a small corridor, and then there is the office proper. So, all of a sudden, we hear, like, uh, the, you know the noise a running faucet uh, does? You know? Okay. So we have, like, a small uh, room with a sink in there, so we thought, well, maybe it's uh, something up, something's up with that. So the boss gets up, goes to check, and he finds... A man in his 60s relieving himself in the middle of the room against a desk. Yeah. My boss my boss was gaping, you know, for a few seconds. He continued. Then he recovered and asked, What the hell are you doing? His answer was I couldn't hold it in anymore. My boss was like flabbergasted he didn't really know what to say or do this guy finished zipped it up and go went out <laughs> the other colleagues noticed when the boss started shouting that's it i can retire i've seen everything there is to see on this job <laughs> like nothing can stop this <laughs> yeah <laughs> but uh, not gracious, not gracious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and speaking of winners because we're today we're here to talk today about a winner a real winner when it comes to superhero movies sorry uh no a wi- winner winners winner sorry <laughs> okay, we're of course talking about the Marvel Civil War. It's been out for 10 days now, so we can probably talk about it. So, uh, first impressions, guys. Uh, right, like, uh, all, uh, straight out the gate, like Tech 9 says. Uh, Will, what did you think of the movie? Because you've been the first one to see it out of all three of us. <laughs>
Aha. Huh. Yeah, what about you, Eagle? You've been the second one in order of uh, seeing. Yeah, pretty much, and uh, also they added a couple new ones, uh, but uh, we're going to talk about that uh, later. Okay, so the first half of the show is spoiler free. Now, uh, for me, my first impression, like uh, what I was left with was, uh, this is fucking good and I really enjoyed it. I, uh, basically, okay, so it, it was a different kind of enjoyment than Deadpool, because Deadpool was fucking hilarious. But, um, you know, it didn't have uh, the kind of enjoyment that you can get from seeing people punch each other in the face and actually having it mean something more. You know what I'm saying? Not, not that the basically Deadpool didn't have the fight that meant something, but uh, they were at the service of Deadpool kind, Deadpool's kind of storytelling and humor. Basically, you you go read a Deadpool story because you want to be entertained by what it talks, by what um, by what's happening right now on the screen, by small traumatic and stuff. Films like Civil War, you go to because you're enjoying uh, basically seeing what's happening on the screen, but he has weight behind it. That's this is the kind of weight that Batman vs Superman wished it had, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mhm. Mm but I would have to say the Chronicle, Chronicles, actually, Chronicle. Ever seen that? Oh, yeah, but I mean, uh, in the sense that uh, Chronicle was supposed to be, you know, found footage. Uh, the raid is not. The raid is not. Oh, yeah, yeah, it, it does. Yeah. <laughs> not, not even, but not even biceps day and pex day and shoulder day. Okay. He does all the work. I, okay. I, what, what can you say? Like, uh, you go, you go see the movie. You watch Captain America. Oh, yeah, this is so great. This is so pop. Then you see that scene with the helicopter, and you're like, I. Uh, I need to work out more. (laughs) 
an helicopter. Ugh. Yeah, and also that that's a great, you know, it ma they made you feel like that was actually happening. Like, they actually made you feel like it was actually pulling back a fucking helicopter back to the to the platform with the rotor on and everything that was hmm. well pretty much Hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. L yeah, so. Oh. Well, with the kind of powers they have, uh, it's uh, a no-brainer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I work in an airport, so... I've been near helicopters before. The rule is uh, no one gets any fucking where near the helicopter until it's completely still. Like it's uh, the, the the rotors are still, the engine is uh, is off. No one gets one inch closer to the motherfucker before that happens. That's that's. Yeah, that's also true for engines. Uh, I can, I could tell you some horror stories, but uh, we're talking about superheroes right now. So... <laughs> pew, pew, pew! <laughs> All right, uh, so let's go in orders. Okay, uh, still without spoilers. Uh, we'll tell you when we get into spoiler territory, guys. So first, the premise. What do you think of the premise uh, for this? Like uh, for the whole Civil War thing happening? Uh, okay, why do you think? Because uh, some people say they doesn't. At least, oh, well, they, they, at, least, at least my brother said that uh, the... Um, it wasn't really done well because uh, apparently, according to him, you have no, uh, you know, you have no qualms about siding with uh, Captain America because uh, the side of registration of Tony Stark wasn't explained that well. Except uh, I, I, I have to disagree with that because there you have people like uh, the guy on red letter media at half in the bag basically they get they gave the the movie a, like a c plus because uh, in, in the real world of course you would go with the government so yeah i had to say bullshit to both my brother and that so <laughs> yeah Yeah, literally. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, pretty much. Uh, what about you, uh, Guil? What do you think? But <laughs> Pampa. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're individuals of mass destruction, as the Ultimate Universe said. Started off as being well, her, her thing was I started well, off being that was, Team uh, America, okay, and now just, I'm Team Team yeah. Team Iron Man. Which is yeah, a, just a just to interject, uh, basically the last 17 minutes uh, you guys haven't been coming through on the podcast. Well, my bad. <laughs> okay, lovely, lovely. lovely. Oh, okay. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, well, okay, so quick set uh, quick. Uh, okay, guys, uh, everyone who's listening in, we're. We started again, basically. Uh, okay, so we're talking Civil War, and we said that we agree it's a great movie. He has more weight uh, uh, behind it. And now we are talking about the premise that uh, was explained well. Eagle says that... Uh, what do you say exactly? Can you repeat that, Eagle? Oh, boy. Now you're trying to make me remember. I'm bad at that. <laughs> <laughs> the, weight of the, the, the weight of the movie is that, without spoilers, is... It, it's that uh, it's straddling that gray area and gray morality where you can be uh, either a the gover- a government's watchdog where they will only release you uh, to do your job when a certain uh, when certain um, certain, certain, certain information or certain, certain needs are met. Yeah, and once that. Once that's met, what happens to uh, everything else that happened beforehand? Why not a preemptive strike, which was, uh, which is kind of what uh, Team Cap is saying. You know what? There's stuff that can be done beforehand, possibly with a little bit of a subterfuge, with a little bit of better planning, which is kind of like that gray area, like which I yeah. do see where tech team Tony is. Yeah, you do subterfuge and everything, but what if somebody dropped the ball or some or there is some unplanned element that causes bigger destruction, which leads them to what Ra was commenting on. Yeah, and Ra, yeah. you were saying that basically you can understand the fear because these guys can potentially level cities and countries, but... But this is the... Uh, the, the, the people who, who are in charge don't yeah, I know this is a fictional world that we're talking about, but the 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 UN. Do you have an idea how difficult it is to get anything through the UN? Oh, some people, my God, <laughs> yeah. Uh, some people, I mean, yeah, oh, the UN Security Council. Well, China tends to abstain unless it directly um, affects China. Uh-huh. Um, you you never know what the the Russians are going to do at the moment, and then uh, in, in some cases, some people will vote against something because uh, a local rival is voting for something. Yeah. And let's not even get into um, the the mess that involves Israel and, and such. So we'll have no unsolicited opinions Israel. on Israel at the moment. Um, yes. This is not this is not slash Paul. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, and, yeah. Sorry. 
Go ahead. Yeah, uh, uh, and of course, there's, uh, and I may have mentioned on this uh, on Twitter, is this the same uh, United Nations that had child pornography on its computer network? Yeah. The, sh- the-, the same United Nations that is massively corrupt and covers up the sex crimes of uh, peacekeepers. Yeah, and let's. You can even... understand why, yeah. <laughs> why Tony said bollocks to you. Yeah, and let's not even get into the fact that uh, these are supposed to be the Avengers. Can you imagine Captain America? Taking direction about human rights from fucking Saudi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, bringing yeah. back into light uh, well, what we saw from the original uh, Winter Soldier, uh, remember that uh, shield as we knew it before, as uh, before this was already over uh, overrun by Hydra agents. Yeah. Which leads us to believe how many people in the in the Marvel universe, United Nations might still be in Hydra's pocket uh, yeah. or as super ex Hydras. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean the the, the uh, basically the database for it uh, was destroyed when Armin Zola and the world base uh, got blown up uh, in Winter Soldier. So unless they find another database, uh, there is no finding out who's who and who's with who. Uh, anytime yeah. soon. I mean, uh, uh, Nick Fury is probably working on that, but even he can do me miracles. Yeah. Oh, that, 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 that's um, that's uh, a question that brings up something for the second half of our discussion. Um, yeah. The spoiler, uh, because, spoiler <laughs> big, out because... because right now we're talking with no spoilers, so it's Cause... perfectly safe. Yeah. So, yeah, so we'll, we'll just uh, I'll, I'll mention that. Um, I'll make a note of that now before I forget. Really, yeah. In, in general, the movie is great. It's very polarizing because at the beginning of the movie, you can say Team Cap and Team Tony. Because since uh, uh, Winter Soldier and uh, compounded on uh, Age of Ultron, you you start to see a schism because, between Cap and Tony because of the way they both think. Tony has this uh, guilty conscience. Since his first movie, remember he had he kind of had to sacrifice somebody to uh, live, yeah. and uh, he's, got, he's got that survivor's guilt working through it. While Cap, he 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 was always the the underdog, the little guy that wanted to do better, and up to a certain point, and uh, this has actually been in the tra- in the trailers where it says that Cap always wants to do something, and then Tony goes back at him and says, I, sometimes I want to punch in your perfect teeth. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. It's... Um, I was saying, uh, Tony's uh, motivation... Tony's heart is in the right place. Um, the you can is- understand. It's just that he's not got the best track record for figuring how uh, how to do things. I mean, case in point, Age of Ultron. Yeah. The problem with Tony is that, uh, okay, he's a, he's a smart guy. He's very smart. He knows how to do stuff, but uh, let's say that he doesn't have uh, the wisdom of knowing uh, when and if to do it. Because, yes. Yeah, that was... <laughs> Uh, Tony is a is a good example of the difference between knowledge and wisdom. Yeah, he is frequently the smartest man in the room, but he's not the wisest man in the room. Yeah. <laughs> also, for all his intelligence, he's a very emotionally driven character, and that's what they play yeah. with in this uh, in this movie a lot. And we're gonna get oh, yeah. into that uh, later, because you know we can't really talk about uh, Tony's emotions without. Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. We kind of need to t- discuss major spoilers and the plot points, and it's not yeah. fair on people who are still listening um, in the spoiler-free zone and who want to see it. Um, uh, I'm not sure how much longer we're going to talk about uh, uh, just, spoilers. Um, just, a, uh, just a few minutes more. I want to talk All about, right. um, you know, okay, as spoiler-free as we can. First, what do you think of the characters? Um, Spider-Man was excellent. Um, he was he was spot on, uh, and uh, the, the interaction between uh, Bucky and uh, Falcon was also <laughs> very good. 
<laughs> there, there were some moments on there, and it's like, yeah. okay, that's very good. Um, <laughs> I'm not quite sure whether, whether or not his reveal... I was in some of the things. Oh, I'm not sure if I should mention this other character who's in there. Um, one of the characters that is introduced is fantastic. He is incredibly badass. Again, not sure if it's a spoiler. We'll hold off on that one. Um, uh, if you're talking about the Black Panther, he was in the trailers as well. Okay, well, uh, yes. Well, yes, Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman, um, the chap who's playing him, he was fantastic. Uh yeah, he, he he seemed you know he had a, a dignity and an intensity, and it's like I, I I am looking forward to the Black Panther movie now. Yeah, I, I was indifferent before it, but you know what? I'll go for it this time. <laughs> no yeah, questions especially, asked. Especially for that last shot, you know, the shot of Wakanda. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Market share. Yeah, but... Okay. <laughs> Doggy issues. Sorry. Yeah, my dog, sorry. They wants to, you know, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, so where was it? Uh, so, okay, so... Um, uh, so, so the characters they brought in, the, all the characters they brought in for the Civil War, and, we prob- and we've and we probably seen all the, everything from the trailers yeah. without, a, like, mini spoilers, because there's, a, there's one that wasn't really talked about in the spoilers until we actually saw it in the movie. Uh, Everyone had their go-to scene. Everybody had, yeah. every had, but everybody had their moment. Sure, uh, I, w- I want. Uh, there's a couple of them. Both Spider-Man and um, Black Panther had their had their own mini arc during the movie. That you respect them, you understand them as a character. You get you get a feel and a vibe for them. Yeah, because and then, that, um, uh, that was you know the secondary objective of this movie, I guess. And and then the the, the the whole okay heroes versus heroes let's do this. It pays off. It really does. It it, it, it it's it literally event. This is Avengers two literally. Oh yeah, <laughs> the, the, it's the good well, version. Well, I wanted to be harsh on of Avengers two. Yeah, we well, were very harsh. Okay, yeah, Aver- this, this Age of Ult- yeah, Age of Ultron wanted to be Civil War. Pretty much, just, yeah, it seems harsh, and you know, there's, there's, you know, there are bits to enjoy about um, Age of Ultron. Usually, James, pretty much James Spader. Let's not yeah. kid ourselves. It's but James Spader as Ultron James is Spader. fantastic. That, yeah. But it was, um, he had a lot of flaws. Like, uh, for instance, uh, Ultron should have been a great villain. It was, uh, uh, should have been was, a better villain. Eh? Yeah. It should have been a better, scarier villain. Yeah, exactly. It should have been motherfucking scary. Instead, we got this uh, rando. It was so random. I really don't know. Uh, was also, it, so- it suffered from kitch- uh, kitchen sink syndrome, as you said. Uh, that's uh, that's your expression, right? Yes, um, uh, throwing everything in, including the kitchen sink, and uh, just shooking everything and. You could, had, I think, had the Captain America been under a different helm, had it had somebody else in there at, at the helm rather than the Russo brothers, um, I think it, uh, Civil War would have felt like that as well. Yeah, I mean, because uh, there is a lot of stuff happening in this movie. Oh, there's a lot of there, and it, 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 it's a long film, um, and there's, you know, there's, there's a. No, it's quite dense, and there's a lot going in there, and there's plenty of action, and there's some good talky bits in there too. You know, you think, oh, okay, so this is what they're doing. And, you know, no jars of piss in there either, um, <laughs> which is quite important. <laughs> yeah, very important. Very Not everybody else. Unless it's like fr- their, their their peach tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unless it, unless it's a film about someone like Howard Hughes or. Um, some other mental person. There should not be jars of urine in your f- superhero movie. <laughs> Indeed, but uh, you know, the dark. But what do I know about anything? I'm Batman. <laughs> no, I mean I'm Superman. <laughs> dark and gritty. Well, you may want to see the doctor then. Mm. Oh, he's not supposed <laughs> to scab like that, motherfucker. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay. You're killing Martha. <laughs> okay. 
one last uh, um, non-spoiler, uh, basically the resolution. What do you think of the movie's resolution? Um, I think, I think Tony. <sighs> Without spoilers, <could've>... remember. <sighs> Let me jump in on this one while... Uh, yeah, while okay. also, 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 about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it it ends on, on a bit of a sad note. It, it kind of feels like the ending of of uh, episode 7. No, well, no correct, let, me, let me correct that. Episode, uh, it, it feels like the end of episode 4. Oh. It feels oh. like the bad guy won because the good guys didn't have the big awesome you mission sure it's episode 4 complete. because episode 4 is when they blew up the dead star the first time uh, episode 5 sorry episode, episode five. 5 okay yeah. okay episode 5 uh. <laughs> it, it, it feels like the bad guy won in the end because the good guys didn't have the big F yeah, everybody, uh, he, the heroes kicked their scene. Yeah, they barely escaped with their lives, uh, as they were. Yeah. But, um, so it, it was it was still a, a good scene. It, it, it's a good closure to what it was, a rift between two, one group separated in two. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it captures the, good, the reasons why Team Tony and Team Cap... And why, at the end of the day, you're kind of okay. I get why Team Tony, even if I'm Team Cap, and or I get why Team Cap, if I'm Team Tony. At the end of the day, it's like there wasn't a coming together of both teams. Yeah, they did. They yeah. didn't go back to the status quo, and I think that's uh, that's to their merit because I think that's basically uh, the see what happened in this movie. It it's supposed to have long-lasting repercussions. You yes. can't just resolve everything in one movie, no matter how long is it. Yeah, I mean, there's... The, the, the actions of, of our heroes have consequences. And they have in the... Um, oh, they certainly did in uh, Winter Soldier. Um, in, and we are seeing some of the fallout from Age of Ultron in this. Um well, if, for example, it's referenced in the trailer. Um, I'll go into more details when we, in a few minutes when we hit into yeah. spoiler territory. Um, so, yeah, so yeah, the, we, what happens, it feels like it's changing the status quo of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And that's that true. is a good thing. Um, too many, too many, too often, usually, admittedly, it's intensely in television, that something happens and it's like, oh, and then so what? It doesn't really change anything else in our lives. You know, yeah. In, yeah. In, in another film, it's like, oh, so this happens again, does it? It's like, wait, what? No. Uh, uh, I was trying to think of some of the films where that's been the case, those sort of connected films. Yeah. Um, a very big think. example of that in TV is uh, Supernatural. I think it was season seven. Basically, that's when Castile becomes the new god because he absorbs uh, all the souls of the monsters uh, from Purgatory or stuff like that uh, at the end of the season or season six. And then in season seven, in the first steps of that, he lets go and it's back to, uh, to the Winchester brothers hunting monsters. What the fuck? That's like... Yeah. That like yeah. what happened? To, why do they would? Why did we go back to the status quo like this? What? Yeah, because they they were they were afraid of losing all their fans. Mm. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They're, 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 remember, so some seasons last way too long because of pandering. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. by pandering, you you're keeping the status quo, but you keep you're working to the lowest common denominator. You're not making you're not thinking that your fandom or your fans are intelligent enough to, okay, what's next? Yeah. Okay, how are you gonna fix this, or what or or what are you gonna do to make make this at least not com not completely destroyed? I'm glad that the Marvel Studio movies aren't like like that, and uh, I guess the the, the ending of, uh, I mean, they could have ma they could have maybe gone a little further. Uh, I think that uh, 
if uh, like uh, if a Quicksilver uh, had survived, I mean, you know, I think that in Age of Ultron, Quicksilver's death was kind of wasted, you know? Yes. Yeah, because it was yeah. introduced I, just... Uh, it, it felt like a plot device, because... Uh, okay, so... Oh, uh, that yeah. happened. Yeah, uh, well, I think... I think Joss... Uh, I poor sensitive Joss Sweden. Um, uh, to, 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 to quote a, a, a certain pair of movie-going uh, people... Um, sensitive Joss Sweden. He, the, if only there, there was an acronym to describe him um, <laughs> uh, and people like him. And he uh, uh, it's like, I think he, he, he was struggling with it because he had a lot of pressure on him for uh, the, the original Avengers movie, first mm. one. So, okay, he managed to do that. And I think they, they tried to shove in too much. It was too much for one director to handle and all that. Yeah. Um, so I think he, he struggled with the burnout and... Uh, it, and because there's too much, uh, that they wanted to have some weight to it, uh, which would have been, uh, which, so they they kind of killed off one of the new characters, um, which is not a real doesn't really make any sense because that doesn't really add much weight. It's a it it felt like a horror movie that oh someone died in a horror movie, so that yeah that happened. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> and, and I know what you mean. Um, it's like, oh, okay. It, it was. Uh, you compare him to the um, buxom girl who's running away in high heels, keeps tripping over. Um, you know. It... <laughs> did, um, did, he, did he even die doing anything important? I don't know. Did he, because uh, I remember, I remember when the Flash died the first time in DC Comics. Uh, he died stopping a fucking universe-ending monster monstrosity. What did the Quicksilver die doing again? I can't he remember. Took a bullet, well, he took a bullet barrage. But that kind of irked me because, you know what? The, the, the one thing that we had a great time cheesing about in X-Men First Class was, was Quicksilver. Quicksilver pretty much run, running so fast that he's like, nope, 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 nope. And this one's not supposed to be fast enough to tell the bullets, all the bullets, and say, nope. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, At least yeah. point the bullets in the direction away from him and whoever's going to get shot at. Yeah. Isn't he supposed to be that fast? Maybe it was distracted by a pretty lady. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you mean yeah. his sister or Oh somebody else obviously. Okay. I, mean, it's... I don't I don't Well think in it's the cooked. comics uh kind oh, of we... Yeah, you know. <laughs> so... I was gonna say in the comics, is it are, are they together? Because I know there is there was some uh, relationship that was really weird. It's like uh, the uh were it the the white stripes who also did that kind of thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's complicated. It's confusing, <laughs> pretty much. Okay, so um, I, I, I guess... think I think yeah, I think, I think it's, it's, it's give them a countdown and then it's time for spoilers. Yeah, pretty much. okay. I'm yeah. gonna okay. I'm gonna tweet it out. Okay. Tweeted it out for anyone if they want to jump in. We're, we're now going into spoilers. I repeat, we're going into spoilers. Last warning, I'm putting out every sound effect I have. We're going into spoiler territory for Civil War right now. Okay, enough Let me give that warning for Mega Man X. <coughs> warning, warning. Warning, warning. You warning. Have, you're going to get spoiled. <laughs> All right, I guess that's enough sound effects. That's enough warning. Let's talk about what. The, okay, let's talk about the thing that we really couldn't talk without spoiling the villain, Baron yes. Zemo. Oh my god! Um, yeah, he's uh, he's is Daniel Bruhl, um, who's very good. Um, yeah, he. Uh, uh, I mean, he he could have done with um, a bit more motivation in, in stuff um he needed a bit more meat to him um 
but uh, you know he, he was very good. I mean, a hero is only as good as a villain. Um, yeah. And and well, he he's very good in the other film that I've seen him in, which is um, I don't know. Uh, oh crap! I can't remember what it is. Yeah, it, it's the James Hunt biography. Oh yeah, uh, I don't remember the name about that. I got the I got the name. But, but yeah. I got the name it, 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 Yes, that, that's, uh, he's very good as um, Nicky Lauder in that. Yeah. Anyway, this this one this one is, I I guess it's weird because it's deep. I don't think it's very divisive for the audience because most you know normal people I talk to they like him. Like they like him as a villain. They mostly they like his motivation. They like that they, they were surprised that he's not you know a. Uh, you know, crazy scientist or crazy villain. He's just a guy with a revenge. And he's a normal guy. And he does more damage than I think anyone has ever done to the Avengers. And he's one mm-hmm. man who was like, what, a colonel in the army, in the Sokovian army? That's mm-hmm. really it. Yeah. The thing is, he plays the strongest weapon in their own arsenal. Themselves. Yeah, yeah. Much. He he plotted them against each other. He played them all, but he was able to get all the right cards. And the thing is, he like I said, he is a badass normal. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, he's Maybe a badass he... normal. But he 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 plotted and planned, and everything that happened led step by step, rolled in and snowballed into something bigger. That at the end, it was like. Okay, it's just Cap and Tony and Bucky. Yeah. And in the in the big slobber knocker scene, everybody wanted to see. And at the end of them, everybody's like, uh, I need a cigarette. Yeah, yeah. you do need yeah. a cigarette. The, 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 yes, the, um, the, the, the light scene in Leipzig. Um, <laughs> it, there's a... Uh, as was pointed out um, by Red Letter Media, so credit where credit is due. To if other people point things out and you know, yeah. I reference it, I, I, I try to acknowledge them. So it's, it's not all my own thoughts, thankfully. Yeah. Um, uh, they said it's rather suspicious how they managed to evacuate the entire airport so quickly. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> uh, otherwise you would it would have been a bit like a uh, Zack Snyder and everything <laughs> with all the destruction. So yeah. Uh, I mean, I have... not really, because, you know, in the fight, they didn't really, uh, I mean, they trash an aircraft, but that's it. I mean, uh, also the truck, what? but... Uh, oh, oh, we yeah, well, well, the, the, and there's one of the loading things that yeah, lands they, on Spider. Yeah, they don't go near the buildings or anything, you know? Yeah, no, but, 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 uh, but up to a certain point, you can, you, you can think about it as uh, Team Tony already knew where... The, kind of like the ballpark area where Team Cap was, because remember uh, the other Agent Carter, the, the, the young, hot Agent Carter that, that, <laughs> that we will need to talk about in a minute? Yeah. <laughs> they, pretty, they, they pretty much had to tell her, where are they? And she had pretty much had to tell them, because she had, was in cahoots with them. She was... Yeah. Funny thing is, she was kind of the, the, the double agent that Natasha wasn't during this movie. Yeah, pretty much. And Natasha was... Uh... She was less a double agent and more superheroine in this. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, the, 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 the big explosion at the airport, yeah, it, it felt better contained. And it was like it was more of a it was more of a duel of, of two groups than a big old slobber knocker who's gonna yeah. be the big champ. Which yeah. is we saw we, we saw both in the original Man of Fail. And then, uh, uh-huh. and then Murder yeah. Man versus Fail Man. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> pretty much. Super also, hey, also, but he, 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 yeah, it was a duel, as you say, but it was more like no a series of duel because they uh-huh. switch around and then so this does this, so I switch with this, so he does this while I do that, and, and as you said, everyone has his moment to shine in this movie. Like yes. uh, and, and not and not just Spidey because we love his scenes. Yeah, I but, love his banter. But he, oh my god, Ant Man! Oh yes. my yes. god! <laughs> I, I wasn't sure how much of the thing included Ant Man. I mean, I'm 
Uh, so I. What are you going to do with him? <laughs> well, oh, yeah. Oh, he's got to make stuff small and big? Yes. Yeah. Which is big. incredibly yeah. awesome. Throw it at this. Oh, I thought that was a water truck. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Oh, no. And then, what's, the, what's talking? It's your conscience, Tony. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. And then, oh. and then when he went big, like, and then when he went big with the main eco laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah, I think I think he actually started to appreciate how it, how he is for other people because he's like giant man, <laughs> and he's like, wait, oh, <laughs> like I do. And then and then the, the Tony goes, okay, anyone uh, wants to reveal a hidden <laughs> power, whatever. That would be good. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah. Okay, Tony Man is now a giant. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. He was fucking awesome. Oh my god. I, I can't wait for Ant, Ant-Man and the Wasp. So I'm oh, I, I, I am looking forward to that. It's going to be good fun. And yeah. I am looking forward to Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh my god, yeah. Let's go this is, Holland. This is, because... Yeah. Uh, he, is my, he, he is very good as Spider-Man. And not only that... Also very good as Peter Parker because that was the bad thing about uh, you know Andrew Garfield. He was a, a good Spider-Man, but he was a terrible Peter Parker. Like uh, the guy said on he... his trailer, say he, he is a terribly uh, he terribly wholesome skateboard rider, ter- uh, well dressed. Uh, you know, yeah, it's <laughs> like, it's totally, totally not the Peter Parker. The idea is Peter Parker is supposed to be the everyman, uh, as it were, no, a regular yeah. guy, a little bit, you know, physically a bit underdeveloped. Nerdy. Yeah, no, yeah, well, incredibly nerdy. Let's not kid ourselves. Okay, yeah, incredibly right. nerdy. <laughs> incredibly okay. nerdy. A little bit socially awkward. Yeah. Nice skinny, uh, and then suddenly, boom! He, he's got his great power. And uh... no. Yeah, he's got you know, the he... power, but and he's got the art in the right place, and he's got enough of a mind that you you know use those powers uh, in in creative ways. But uh, you you he's still uh, he's still in high school, and he's getting into these enormous fights, and he portrayed that really well. Like when Ant Man when Ant Man goes big, Spider Man is like holy shit! <laughs> that that was, that was a reaction. Yeah, and he's going to go. Yeah, I was gonna say, if anything, the only drawback it's it's teenage high school Peter Parker, not early uh, young adult Peter Parker, which would have fit so perfectly with the rest of the crew. Still a little, a little bit starstruck because Cap, because oh yeah. Tony, oh all these heroes. Wait, I'm actually in the big leagues now versus. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm a fanboy, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm a fanboy. Yeah, but uh, it was kind of cute. It was cute. Still great. It was, it was great. Oh, yeah. Was... I mean, it is. He it, it, it was. He, he fit perfectly for the role. And yeah. I, I'm glad. Uh, and well, the, the another thing which makes me glad for the. Um, excited for um, Spider Man Homecoming. Oh, movie. Yeah. Um, Robert Downey Jr.'s in it. Yeah, and uh, Basquiat, they're probably going I to... Don't, uh, yes, I don't know how much he's going to be. He could be only be in it for four minutes. Don't y- care. Okay. It's going to be great. Okay, uh, I see it uh, as going to for two reasons. Either he's going in as trying to mentor Peter as uh, in Super Roigs, uh, because we see that when Tony goes to find him in Mane in Queens, uh, Basquiat... Is uh, you know he's got uh, uh, patched up costumes because this Spider-Man can sue. Uh, that never really made any sense to me. Really. <laughs> you know, okay, so he's also got the power of super suing his own costume and stuff like that. <laughs> and then, uh, hey, uh, yeah, so, so, some of the, yeah, I, I have some basic sewing skills. I mean, I can sew on a button. Yeah, but you can sew <laughs> a whole costume like a one piece. <laughs> And yeah, like so, a onesie, no. yeah, a onesie. I don't think you can. So either either he goes is a mentor to Peter, or he goes to date uh, Aunt May, because mm. you know. Well, 
I'm hoping they want they go the mentor route with a little bit, uh, or try to bring in a little bit of the Iron Spider. Oh my god, that would be so fucking cool. Uh, because, for those who don't know, the Iron uh, Spider is the Iron uh, Spider-Man suit introduced uh, in the in Civil War. Basically, it's a uh, gold uh, and red like the Iron Man armor, and it's got all these cool high-tech gadgets and whatever. So yeah, that would be cool to see. Like, or, or like a little bit of the mentoring where, okay, I know you're a smart kid. I know you got skills. Show me. Impress me. And he he already impressed him as a superhero. Now impress me as a tech, as a, as a burgeoning little genius. I want to, like, Tony fostering him to be kind of like a little bit of his protege. Kind of like they went with, uh, Spider, with uh, Spider-Man in the original Comics. comic. Yeah. But, and, but, kind of, but kind of like giving him the opportunity where he is like, okay, you know what? You're on my payroll. You don't have to worry about cash. You don't want uh, if you want to study more, let's go ahead and not, not just worry about being a superhero, but develop yeah. him as as a more complete person. Yeah, oh, and yeah. you know, I I also I don't know when it comes to Spider-Man, it's Peter. When it comes to Smarts, I always had this weird feeling. Like, he's not as smart as, say, Tony or Reed Richards, but uh, he's smarter, he knows more than them in certain areas. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, he's not as smart, but also smarter. I, I don't know how to explain that. Let me let me use uh, the worst words possible to, the, to kind of explain it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. Tony... And Reed are artists. Are the 4chan <laughs> artists. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're complete geniuses, but they suck at being people peop- uh, people persons. Oh, okay. While, <laughs> while, uh, while Peter, he's very smart, he's intelligent and everything, but he's been forced to live on the streets a lot more. He actually gets to be a people person, whether he likes it or not. Yes, and uh, the never... thing, that, that, that joke at the end where Aunt May is like, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I was fighting. Uh, I was fighting with this guy Steve from Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> you should have seen his friend. He's enormous. His friend was <laughs> huge. <laughs> and you know, the thing is, Peter comes off as more an everyday guy because he is a more everyday guy. Sure, he's the nerdier guy, but but he got and he does have his superpowers. Take away all of that, he's still a. A kid that needs to work on his homework, yeah, on uh, on keeping his girlfriend, on uh, making sure his uh, he can pay the rent. Yeah, yeah, he is also, an everyday Joe. Yeah. Also, about the the girlfriend, what do you want to bet? I want to uh, I want to bet that this time, instead of Mary Jane or Gwen, they're going to put uh, the White Tiger in his movie. I don't know if you ever uh, have you seen uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon. I don't know. That could work. That could... Yeah. Uh, I've that not. Could work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Because uh, they they said that uh, you know that the singer actress called Zendaya was going to be in the movie, and uh, but, well, you know, she's. Uh, I think she's. Uh, well, I, I think she's the, of African descent, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, the first thing I told when they introduced said she was going to be in the movie and, uh, you know, she's of uh, the same age as Tom Holland around that. I said, okay, oh, yeah. she's going to be the, the White Tiger. I can see that. Why not? Well, Why not? I mean, I mean, if they can do it because in the cartoon, they get, they have great chemistry. So I'm okay with that. Cool. As long as, as long as it works, as long as they work as characters, yeah, and not as the 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 cheesy uh, shoehorned in romantic interest, yeah, go and, for it. Yeah, and that's the thing. They can't do that because maybe they can do it with Gwen or Mary Jane because everyone knows who the hell those are. But if they want to put in the White Tiger as in the in the movie. They have, they would have to actually work on both their characters so to, to, to get, have them have their chemistry. And I'm saying that this is a possibility because the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon is produced by Disney, too. Well, 
IMDB has uh, on the Spider Man Homecoming page, yeah. uh, Zendaya is credited as Michelle. Um, okay, I don't, I don't remember uh, what. Why tag I, I ahead, know, ahead. Uh, So, you know, that's who she's currently credited as. So. And of course, this is still being labelled as um, in pre production coming out. 7th of July 2017 in the USA. So mm-hmm. we'd expect that around some of the similar, some, some sort of time around uh, in, in Europe. So, okay. you know, uh, could, still, could got could be good still got a year. Still got a year for them to decide what they're doing. I mean, you know, uh, I, I, I'd be stunned if it wasn't finished in the, in the can by Christmas. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's got to do. You know, do do your post production work. Uh, that's go, that's going to be um, quite lengthy in that. Uh, um, so you know, yeah. Um, I, I'm not sure who, if, if you know for Spider Man's um, love interest, and quite frankly, it doesn't matter to me who yeah, it but, is or who even has one. Yeah, so. but uh, more than a, as a love interest, as a partner, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, yes. Yeah, so I, th- I think it would be better to be partner. And um, well, here's, I- I'm sure there's one, at least one story somewhere where um, two characters happen to be heroes, and they, they're the civilians are going out with each other, um, but they don't realise they're with a partner that the partner is has an alter ego and fights crime with yeah. their other friend. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a storyline out there like that, but that would be mm-hmm. worth seeing. That I'd like. Going, like, oh, okay, mm-hmm. uh, fair enough. Uh, yeah, that that, that 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 would be actually be pretty cool. Uh, I'd, uh, I'd no, th- that would be interesting to me. Um, where they're not quite sure how they want to uh, make it, but you know, they, they, yeah, they'll we'll figure see. something out. Okay, uh, so return to Civil War because I think we gushed yeah. about Spider Man for the last <laughs> twenty minutes or so. Yes, <laughs> yes, we've praised Spider Man too much. Okay, so let's let's praise uh, the the bros, like you know, they Captain uh, Falcon and uh, Bucky have some of the best bro moments ever. In oh this yeah, movie. oh they are they are brilliant and and. <laughs> You you can tell you get the you get a good sense of chemistry between um, Bucky and Cap. Um, you can tell that you know uh, it does, doesn't they have been best friends since forever. Yeah, you know they were they were friends since before they could spell the word. I mean that's <laughs> that, that's how tight how tight their friendship is. It doesn't you know. I I was an assassin for Hydra. It doesn't matter. You're still my friend. I'll yeah. come and save you. But and, fantastic, uh, and I'll um, be watching you from the from the beetle when you while you make out with the girl. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh yeah, yeah. When you turn to them and they're nodding and smiling. Yeah, <laughs> my God. God, that was perfect, bro. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, that scene was commenting. So, uh, so pretty much, Cap and the crew are already ro- they, they've already gone rogue. And they, they meet up with uh, young the well, with young uh, Agent Carter. Uh, what was it? Agent sixty seven, something like that. Uh, Sharon Sharon Carter. Uh, oh, basically uh, the uh, the niece of the original uh, Agent Carter. Peggy which is, Carter. Yeah. And, uh, and and they start talking, and they're like, you know what? Here's your gear. Uh, you, you got you, you got so much uh, lead ahead. They're going to be following you. And, and he's like, you know what, thanks and everything. And uh, and the meanwhile, Bucky and Falcon Falcon and are are in the back are are the just looking at them from a little Volkswagen. They're just looking at them, and uh, and and they they're like, oh, come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. And then <laughs> and then Cap and and Agent Carter kiss, and they're like, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Then Carter, <laughs> yeah, the, the Captain is all awkward and stuff, and then he turns around. Oh. <laughs> and he, he sees like, his friends That's going, my boy. That's my boy right there. My boy. <laughs> well, it, it, it's one of those um, 
Well, they, they can certainly say, uh, it's, so they certainly, she certainly meets with their approval. And, you know, uh, I had a thing, it was Agent 13, uh, Sharon Carter. She, uh, oh yes, <laughs> she's a very lovely lady. Uh, yes, smart, capable, and all sorts. So, yes, yeah, so, and, you know, Captain also, I think does... that was the first uh, female contact uh, Cap has had uh, after getting towed. Yes. Well, uh, except, I think so. uh, except uh, you know, the the ones to the you know with the Black Widow to you know lose the fo- lose the followers or something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, he, he's he's uh, he, well, he's quite the chaste hero, but that sort of, that fits for Captain America. Yeah. He, he he's got to be you know um, not so mild mannered, but he's got to be the good man. Uh, he's as still it were. the Brooklyn I... boy at heart, you know. <laughs> he's still oh, he, he, he's, a, he, he's he's someone you would like to be. He, you know, you'd be his friend with. Yeah, um, pretty much. You, you could, could compare him to say um, uh, Iron Man, you know, Tony Stark. And it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, Tony Stark would have uh, had her in bed long ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Let, let's not kid ourselves. Yeah. Um, the thing uh, is, would you, would, Tony Stark is that bad boy. Oh bad. yeah, yeah. While much. while Steve is, he's a good guy. He's a cool. He, the, uh, he's a uh, primly pressed, uh, clothes, always polite, says please and thank you. Language. <laughs> yeah, language. Yes. So, so everybody that's his, everybody that's his friend, they want him to succeed, even with the ladies, especially with the ladies. Yeah. Tony uh, well, doesn't need that uh, because, you know, he does it on his own, but uh, he's, uh, deep inside, he feels uh, terribly alone. Especially oh, oh, because it yeah. uh, seems the Gwyneth Patrol won't be coming back as Pepper Potts. And, yes, uh, yeah, but that's a plot after... pl- pl- point. She, she, she's left him. Uh, and it, that's it, 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 you got the feeling where it's a, um, a bit cheap uh, to, to not have her. Um, yeah. Uh, I think that but, but it uh, makes sense. It's literally a bit cheap uh, because uh, do you remember when she lamented not getting as much as Robert Downey Jr. in Iron Man? Bitch, <laughs> bitch, he's the star. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, uh, how much? Uh, you know, we got so okay. Fair enough. You want to have the? Uh, you, you, you want to get as much as Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, your fifteen, twenty million dollars or whatever. Okay, then. Um, you got to carry the fill. Um, you Very need much. to be. You have a strict diet. Um, you're hey. going to go through pretty hellish uh, shoots. So you got to hit the gym. Um, you know, it's yeah. also not you, easy. You need to have made a Chaplin movie and make it work. Yeah. Because Robert Downey Jr. did yeah. that. <laughs> yes, uh, that's true. Uh, and. Uh, I'll say uh, the young, young Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, um, in, would, in the flashback yeah, exactly. thing, that that was weird, weird but really? good at the same time. Yeah, um, you know, it's the uh, it's, it's, it's a one of one of these uh, great things. Um, uh, you go, oh, okay, and he's uh, are you looking at and go, yeah, that is young Robert Downey Jr. Pretty much. But it can't be. How have they managed to do that? Great and effects. It's not, Great effects. It, it's not like they, they've sucked in you know, a combined footage like they did in Forrest Gump or the, the <laughs> um, <laughs> Trials and Tribulations <laughs> episode of DS9. You know how they did it? Go on. They did oh. the same thing in, in the new Tron movie with the dude. Ah. I haven't seen that. They, they basically... Uh, in the new, in the the last Tron, well, the latest Tron movie, they had to get his basically they they basically did the whole uh, facial uh, digital facial recon, reconstruction for uh, for one of the characters that is supposed to be kind of pretty much a digital clone of Flynn. Oh, okay. But he looks like a young Flynn versus current Flynn, which is basically the dude. <laughs> the dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they, they, they probably what they probably did it is they they did they, they, they did the full the, the full face recognition to get the the three D image, and uh-huh. then use all all, uh, all uh, film stock 
to uh, to do the, fo- the the photoshopping in, but it looked like oh my god, it, this is like Rat Pack, Tony. Yeah. Yeah. And okay, so it's like um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, oh yeah, oh you got, you've got me for a day, then I gotta go film Weird Science. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's literally, he looks like he's gonna go step onto Weird Weird Science. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of anyway, speaking of young uh, young geniuses, uh, I think that the way they set up, uh, you know, the the finale where the Baron Zemo lures them only to make them discover that Bucky killed uh, Tony's parents, that mm. was perfect. I really did not expect that. Well, that was also hinted in um, in the Winter, uh, Winter Soldier. Soldier. Yeah, but it was like. Uh, a flash, like two, three seconds. I totally forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, exactly. That, that was a good. They brought it in, and they and they played all of us. They oh they God. played all very well. Very fucking. Because funny. a lot of people, a, a lot of people, unless they rewatched the movie and paid attention to every single scene, the week before the movie came out, they were like, "Oh my God, this." This really happened. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, uh, and it's you... Expect you didn't expect that to come out and smack you in the face. No, and uh, to smack Tony in the face because uh, basically, as soon as we saw, you know, the the same camera feed uh, from uh, from the beginning of the movie and. Uh, but, and uh, Tony saying, I know that road, I know that car, whatever. I, I, I was like, oh my god, no, he didn't. Uh, and then you had to see, like, every second, the little changes in Tony's face uh, as uh, the murder of his parents played out in front of him. Oh my god. That was, wow. And then, of course, he wants to kill the fucking guy. I mean, uh, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, he's he, well, Tony was indifferent to his dad for a great many times, for, for, for much of his life. Uh, Howard Stark didn't have much time for Tony. Um, yeah, probably. it's unfortunate, but but this sort of thing happens with people like Howard Stark, and I could see something like that being if Tony Stark had a uh, had a had a child, it would be a, a, in a similar thing because he's busy doing his thing, and then suddenly, oh, okay. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. So, so Tony's obviously closer to his mother. Um, yeah. Uh, and and it's, yeah. Oh, I can. The yeah, fi- he, he, he's totally understandable why he, why he goes nuts. So yeah. Yeah, and the fight that follows is so fucking intense uh, to the point that they both get into it so much. Also, uh, the shot. That's straight out to one of the covers of the original Civil War comics uh, with, uh, you know, Cap holding his shield against uh, Tony's blast uh, at point range. That's a cover from one of the Civil War covers uh, of the original comics. Anyway, the fight was so fucking intense that I almost believed, like uh, when uh, Cap at the end gets the upper hand, I actually... You know, I actually believed he was about to cut Tony's head off for a moment there. I oh, literally yeah. physically cringed. Oh my god, I don't want to see this. Oh. Because, wow. <laughs> but then you realize. You realize? Hypocrite. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> He's yeah. Captain America, not Captain Hypocrite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that also yep. wears red and blue, but, uh, you know. <laughs> Yeah, you know, he doesn't fly through buildings killing people. Yeah, yeah. No, he he just doesn't skip leg day and and, and rider kicks him across the, <laughs> across the screen. Yeah, I'll just rider kick this car through you. Know, never mind, I I'll just kick you into this concrete wall. It's like, yeah, you, your back's fucked for a while, mate. <laughs> I don't think you'll be running any marathons soon or walking ever again. But never mind, you know. Um, the uh, the th- one question that is brought will need to be addressed, and I'm sure yeah. it will be. Um, where what? was Nick Fury? Because um, Winter Soldier is in between. Um, it came before Avengers Two, so and, and Nick Fury was in Avengers Two. So where is what's happened? 
No, because Nick Fury was going or was doing a runner, and then obviously he came back for Avengers two. Uh, so yeah, so so, so there's we, we need to know what's going on with Nick Fury. Where was he? Because Nick okay. Fury, I, yeah, Nick Fury is Nick Fury, you know. Yeah, or is he busy yeah, being right. Dick Fury and then messing with everybody? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, fine that, too. That, or is that his porn okay. star? Hey? You know, okay, more of, uh, let's go meta for a moment here. I think what's happening here is that, uh, there, okay, I don't think Rhodes and uh, the Black Widow are, go- are going to be in the in the movies anymore. Not even Hawkeye. I don't think they're going to be uh, in the movies anymore, at least not as uh, prominent. In, in a sense, they're, they're taking out the, the badass normals because... It's ramping up toward characters and evil guys that are going to be more, uh, I want to say Omega level. Because remember, yeah, but, the big uh, bad guy next year, the, the, the big bad guy at the end of the uh, at the end of the everything is Thanos. Yeah, they yeah. had to have an alliance much of uh, people. The badass normals will splat if the badass normals don't have a weapon, a neutralizer weapon for that tier. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I don't, don't, yeah, so that's the thing. So, um, yeah, it's hard to see what effect Hawkeye and Black Widow are going to have on Thanos when, if and when Thanos decides to come calling. Um, no, so yeah. say Captain America it is going to be, um, to be fair though, I mean, uh, superheroes are not new to the kind of like, you know, being uh, weaker and with less resources and still pulling, uh, uh, comeback victory. Spider-Man is the master of those kind of things. He defeated the people like, uh, you know, the Juggernaut and Magneto and even, you know, the X-Men powered with the Phoenix Force uh, on his own. So, it can be done. But I think it's more about, uh, you know, the actors. Mm. Yeah. Uh, there's... Uh... It's going to be hard to see how they get can get everybody back together again. I mean, character get all get the characters back together again for um, Infinity War, which is apparently it's going to be retitled. Yeah. So it's not going to be Infinity War parts one and two. It's well Avengers something and then Avengers well, something, something else because uh, that title that titling was kind of retarded. Let's uh, let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> um, I think well, let's face it. Except, uh, you know, the newer one, like uh, Paul Rudd uh, and uh, now Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, and Robert Downey Jr. I think I think Robert Downey Jr., because he's not tied in contracts uh, like uh, the other, some of the other actors have been so far, I think, I think he's probably going to be able to play Tony Stark forever, because he's not tied down to Disney. He can do other stuff. But, um... Uh, Everyone else, I think sooner or later, a few of the characters are going to, you know, get new actors. Either that, or yes. The, either that, or the characters die. One of the two. I don't know which would be braver. Oh, yeah. um, I, I think no, someone, someone pointed out that it would probably be a good idea for. Um, them to do uh, to try actually have killed off a character or two, because um, you, you know, um, Rhodey, for example, um, he's absolutely buggered now, so he's not going to be doing any fighting anytime soon. So why not kill him off? Uh, uh, no, I yeah, think just being... in a sense, they kind of did kill him off because he's gonna he's gonna be pretty gun shot about getting back in the suit. Yeah, they kind of uh, did sure kill Tony, him off uh, without Tony killing him off. Yeah, they put, uh, they they put him on a bus in in, in a very. Uh, they gave him this. Uh, they put him on the bus, but they give him his uh, his moment of his moment of glory to shine with the rest of the team. Yeah, he, he basically he was put on a bus, but in a respectful way, because like uh, with the salute and everything. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah and. and if if anything, he'd be just uh, he'd be Rhodey would still be there as part of Cap's crew, but not directly the the war machine anymore. If unless 
Unless they really need some uh, some extra firepower down th- down the road, the rest of the yeah. movies it's him pretty much getting back to speed to be able to walk or using whatever prosthetics that or whatever exosuit that Tony's gonna get make him. Yeah. Two people that I think are gonna get uh, new actors uh, soon are uh, probably also uh, Hulk and Thor, because now there is Ragnarok, and uh, mm-hmm. let's let's not forget. Ragnarok, uh, what it means in Norse mythology. So you know, if if uh, a god has to be reborn, was to say yes to look the same. I mean, also, mm. also they could pull off uh, the fact that uh, you know, then he drops down to hurt uh, and uh, he becomes uh, you know, uh, he trapped uh, into a human body, stuff like that, uh, like the original version of Thor, and. Uh, they're prob- Mark Ruffalo is probably not going to be playing Hulk anymore in a while. Also, you know what I think? I think they may they may use Thor Ragnarok to start off Planet Hulk and World War Hulk eventually. Oh, that could um, work. It could work, but the thing is, how are you going to reinsert him back into? Into the, the main continuity, and then uh, yeah, the same it, way they are you are you gonna are you gonna make uh, the the perfect Hulk? Are you gonna be making the the Warbound Hulk? The Warbound Hulk for if it's Planet Hulk, it needs to be Warbound. And uh, you know how they're gonna insert him? Uh, the same way they inserted him in the comics, and it was fucking awesome. The Hulk comes back, is smart, is pissed off, and he wages war on the entire fucking world. Only thing, uh, they don't have the sentry this time around. So how the fuck are they going to stop him? That's the question. <laughs> mm. That's a good yes. question. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, 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 something well, what we've got coming up next or soon. Um, where are we? Um, let me see you. Uh, phase yeah. 3, I think. I think we're on phase 3 now. Yeah, uh, pretty much. Uh, after uh, Civil uh, War, we're pretty much in Phase 3. So, we'll see. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're almost uh, running out of time. So, the last 10 minutes. Okay, let's talk about what you're most excited for because of this movie. Okay, first of all, I'm excited to see more of Black Panther. I'm excited oh, to see yeah. more of Wakanda. I want to see that fucking giant Panther statue again. And I want to see more of... I want to see more of him. More as a super honestly, hero. I want to see, honestly, I want to see that Panther, Panther statue to end up being part of Voltron. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah they, they've had the tra- speaking of which they've had the trailer for Voltron as well. Actually, the the new Netflix really? show. But oh yeah, um, yeah, that looks looks pretty awesome. I'm kind of excited for it. Uh, yeah, but uh, so I think Black Panther um, quite possibly. I uh, looking what we've got now coming soon um, as it was. We've got Civil War, uh, thing. We've got um, Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy, Thor Ragnarok. All right. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy two. Yeah, Thor three, Black Panther, Avengers: Infinity War, Captain Marvel. It was going to be the Inhumans, but the Inhumans has been pushed back. Yeah, and this makes a few people think that. Uh... Fox is trying to jump into the you know cross uh, the cross uh, the crossing of the movies as well. Yeah, well, if I've got any sense, I'll hand over um, Fantastic Four. Um, At least Fantastic Four. <laughs> uh, it, it, it would it would have been nice to see some of the mutants in there, but let, let's not kid ourselves. It, it would have it'd been like with Deadpool. It's like I come to this house, this big house. It's only you two here. <laughs> Seems a bit cheap to me, doesn't it? It's like, it's you like, know, well, cause, no, let's not kid ourselves. Um, if Magneto wanted to, Age of Ultron would have been over in five minutes. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, oh, a, uh, alien ro- uh, so attacking robots. You're on. <laughs> oh, no. You're You said that sipping his coffee and he's flinging them into the sun and what have you. You know, it, it's it's... That that's the kind of yeah, but power level were, problem they you were have. attacking you as uh, they were attacking humans uh, as long as they didn't go after mutants, <laughs> you know. Is that... Sorry, 
Eagle? Exactly. It's like. Yeah, am I muted out? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. It's like. They're not attacking mutants. What do I care? Pretty much. But, um, oh my god, I was saying I would love to see Spider Man and Deadpool together, but. Uh, uh, the or- basically the stories that that, uh, that are funny with Spider-Man and Deadpool, uh, uh, that basically it's like there is a Spider-Man and Deadpool and they have but your mama jokes a competition. <laughs> so that's <laughs> that's that's it. That's, it. <laughs> that, that's that's like. That's an adult Spider-Man. If he does it with a young Spider-Man, either he's going to... Oh my god, I found someone more annoying than me, or he's going to be scared for life. Possibly both, I think. <laughs> for Tom Holland. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it would be nice to see um, uh, such, uh, such fun things, but... Uh, it, the, the the amount of effort it is going to be to, to to get in. We are talking like four hundred million dollar budget. That's not accounting for the um, uh, the the marketing of it. It 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 was be massively, but twice as much as any other the, the big superhero movies we've seen so far. To, to, to bring in, uh, I would say, Fantastic Four. I mean, someone it would be nice to see Hulk versus the Thing. I'm oh, sure yeah. that's been a, that that would be fantastic. Oh, I mean, who else is damage, but fantastic? Oh, I'd, I'd, yeah, and it, it, you could see, yeah, Tony Stark versus Reed Richards. He, he, who could be the smartest arsehole in the room? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, there's, I, 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 I don't think the mutant world works with. The Marvel Cinematic Universe at the moment. Yeah, you know what else doesn't it, work? The the, oh, seri- yeah. the series, the you know the series series for one simple thing. Jessica Jones uh, in the original uh, Marvel Universe uh, was uh, a schoolmate of Peter Parker growing up, and she had a crush on him. <laughs> hmm. Can't see that happening in this. <laughs> yeah, it's- it, it, it gets to the point where the, the normals aren't fitting in. They have to be enhanced, but really enhanced. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, well, p- the Power Man and Iron Fist uh, have been, uh, you know, have been part of the Avengers before. I mean, uh, the, they're not exactly normal. Jessica Jones, though, I mean, Jewel was her name. I mean, she got super strength and stuff, but... Uh... Oh whatever, you know. They they made their normal. They made their normal. Daredevil, no fucking chance. Daredevil, you know, I, I would not be adverse to seeing Spider Man turn up in the TV series. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. That because... that that would that would be pretty awesome. I don't know what the rules are for Spider Man in TV. Um, mm, it, it's it, it's one of these things. That, Marvel may have hived off the movie rights, but not necessarily the TV rights. Hmm. Um, which is why when they, in the early 2000s, when they remade June, they couldn't do it as a film. They could do it as a TV miniseries, however. Um, so I, I think that would be good. I mean, um, you know, Spider-Man coming along, hanging. You know, even if it's just a, a, you know, an Easter egg thing, somebody s- swinging by in the background. Uh, it would be awesome. Um, hmm. s- certainly, see no reason why you can't you know, t- take in a moments to say hello on the Agents of Shield. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that that would actually get me to watch Agents of Shield. Um, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't seen any of it. I think I saw the um, the pilot, and I couldn't really be bothered to to watch more of it. Though it did get better towards the end of the first series, from what I gather. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah though the Coulson was was carrying it. You know, yeah. hey ho, pretty much. It's it's Coulson. Also, also, <laughs> uh, instead on the other side, Supergirl kind of sucks. Her audience is fifty five years old woman, and she gets brought to CW. What the fuck? So what's happening there? And what, and what I'm thinking it's and, and this is me talking outside of my patootie is. 
it didn't hit on the major chain. So take it back to to DC where DC uh, CW, which is Warner, which is a, the channels that brought up the uh, that brought up Arrow and Smallville and work uh, and uh, work uh, for uh, right. And Flash, yeah. From, yeah. from what right. I gather, from what I from they, what they I might. So, so my from my under, my um, um, understanding of things and it is quite limited because my understanding of everything is quite limited. Um, <laughs> it wasn't quite hitting the ratings that I wanted. They didn't want to cancel it because they're just changing it over, moving it over to the CW. But by moving it over to the CW, they also tweak. They've lowered the budget slightly. Um, they have also uh, labelled it to be a little bit easier to have your Flash and Arrow crossovers. Yeah, which, uh, let's be honest, which, uh, basically they're, they're making... Which is, uh, would be worth watching, so... Yeah, no, not really for me, because basically they're making the Smallville-verse again. Mm. Every every series of the DC, anime, you know, it, it's Smallville all over again. The designs of the costumes, uh, the love triangles, uh, the, the stories, the villains. It's fucking Smallville all over the fuck again. And I... No. I already... A new generation. You you take this. You get tired of it, I think, in... Uh, uh, you, are get, you are already getting tired of Arrow, so I guess you get uh, tired of everything else in uh, one year, one year and a half, uh, maybe less. We'll see. Okay, we have the, um, a, f- a few precious minutes l- left. Uh, so I want you to make a prediction, guys. Uh, Eagle, you first. A prediction to where the Marvel movies go from there. I mean, something that's going to happen. Maybe a character, a situation, something. Uh, it's going to be interesting. The thing is, if they're going to lose characters or they're, they're going to quote-unquote kill off characters, I think they're going to be waiting until Thanos to bring the hammer down. You're All probably right. going to lose some characters on the first quote-unquote Infinity War movie until they, they find a way to pretty much make them lose the Infinity Stones. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's where I'm thinking that we're going to lose some characters. That makes sense to me, that does. that. That's how I would play it. Um, because, well, you don't have to lose the heroic uh, alter ego you just lose the um, the regular guy behind it. Yeah, I mean, much, it's, yeah. uh, you know, it, so, yeah, you, it you, 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 might lose, the, you, you, you might lose, you might lose, you might lose Steve Rogers, but you don't lose Captain America. Yeah. As it were. Yeah, you, you hand over the cowl or hand over the hood or whatever phrase you want to use. Yeah. So, and I, I'm not sure who I would kill off in that situation. Um, Possibly the, 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 the badass normals. Um, uh, well, of course, it all depends. Because it could be a case of um, Robert Downey Jr. has had enough and so like, yeah, I'm going to die at the end of Infinity War. Mm-hmm. And boom. Uh, and then somebody else gets to be Iron Man. I don't know who you'd pick as a replacement Iron Man. Um, and it, you know, you'd probably spend half the next movie, um, in, you know, second part of the thing. And everyone said, you're just not as funny as Tony. Yeah, <laughs> so like, Tony would never have done that. Yeah, t- uh, Tony would, uh, Tony would uh, have like a room full of clones like uh, <laughs> like Rick from Rick and Morty, pretty much. <laughs> uh, uh, Tony's enough of a narcissist to bugger himself, so... <laughs> yeah. you, mean, you, you mean he doesn't have a real-life replicant co- uh, army going around? <laughs> a uh, life model yes. decoy. <laughs> I, I, I think that was the original version of, of the pro, of the Ultron project. <laughs> a bunch of Tonys all going around. All right. Uh, me, I personally think uh, we're going to see. I think if uh, the, uh, the Homecoming movie is a success, I think. Um, uh, Fox uh, is going to be more prone uh, to collaborate with Marvel as well, and we're going to see Spider-Man in other movies uh, in the Marvel side of things uh, as well. Also, I'll make you a prediction: they're never, they're not going to kill a- off any one of the Guardians of the Galaxy because they're they just work too well as a group for that to happen. Or at least that's my opinion. Um, I don't. 
No, they, they, so... they, they technically tried to kill off Groot, and you know what happened there. Yep. <laughs> oh, well, we Groot, Groot's Groot. too awesome to um, just uh, just just kill off. I mean, everybody loved Groot. It doesn't didn't matter <laughs> his words. I am Groot. All of the thing, apart from the end, saying uh, <laughs> towards the end, we are Groot. We I are mean, Groot. the f- the that feels. Was, wow. The feels, and yeah, and the thing is that we they we love basically how to play off each other, because yeah, there is you know Groot and uh, but they they just work together, you know, they just uh, they, okay. So alone they're interesting, but together you're just uh, on a roller coaster of a movie. That's what made what that's what made Guardians work so well, without. You know, everyone needing one movie to establish itself. Because they weren't uh, told as, uh, you know, single superheroes that come together by chance. They were told together of a team that comes together by chance. I don't know if I... Mm. If I explained that uh, that difference that well, you know? Yeah, the... Yeah, the... The Guardians, there's sort of a chance to throw them together rather than them being aware of each other and trying to get time to work together. Yeah. That's my understanding of the difference between the Guardians and, and the Avengers. So, yeah, I think... Mm, I don't think that quite works for me. I just, yeah, I, I am quite looking forward to um, Guardians 2. Um, yeah, me too. James Gunn, uh, do it. Yeah. As you say, it's the same people before, and generally speaking, if 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 the first one w- was good the, and the director doesn't have an issue, then we go with them again. Uh, I'm not quite sure why John Favreau wasn't picked up for Iron Man three, but I got no problem with Shane Black doing it. Um, Shane Black got a great performance out of Robert Downey Jr. and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and no, no, that, 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 no, it's a film where he's. Um, uh, oh, I try to remember the thing for, but uh, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is a brilliant film, worth watching. Oh yeah, yeah, they're just uh, uh, you know yeah, double in three D. Yes. And um, uh, what, what else has he done? Um, no, Shane Black wrote Lethal Weapon. Um, oh, uh, and uncredited script he writes of Predator. He's in Predator, and he's doing the new Predator movie, and it's going to be R rated. <laughs> so oh, right. yes. So the predator will be um, killing people properly, and that's what I want to see. Quite morbid and but <laughs> there's the I know, but I, uh... that is what predator deserves. Yeah, uh, what, what kind of monster thinks a PG thirteen predator is a good idea? Uh, um, let's not go into there. Okay, maybe that, that's a subject <laughs> for the next podcast. PG thirteen on certain things. Why? Anyway, this has been the time pod. Thank you, everyone, for listening in. This was our review, I guess, of uh, <laughs> of Civil War and the Marvel Universe uh, sp- uh, Phase 3, pretty much. And as always, I want to thank my co-hosts, uh, Will Smith or Lord Ra from England. Oh, goodbye, everybody. And Eagle Ceres from Mexico. Hasta luego. I'm Eroskine, and we'll see you on the next Italian pod.